to 40 Years, 40 Women, the initiative of the Career Women's Forum in the framework of the 40th anniversary of the association. I have the great pleasure to have with me today Dina Ionesco, Migration Specialist at the United Nations Climate Convention and co-director of a brand new master at the Webster University. Hello, Dina. Hello, Monica. Dina, who are you in a few words? What a difficult question to start with. I would select a few um, values, in fact, that guide uh, my life to respond uh, to this question. The first value is simply kindness. I think kindness, it the compass for my life. Second value I'm so attached to its freedom and the love, a fierce love of freedom. I think inherited from my uh, birthmark being a child born in dictatorship uh, in Romania. And the third uh, value is creativity. Creativity as a way to advance in life across disciplines, outside the box and even without the box. Nina, what are the ingredients of your success? Oh, <laughs> I'm, I would say for this question um, that I'm extremely cautious with the word success. First of all, what is it success? In, in a lifetime, um, I don't like so much this word of success because it's not a state and it's not something that's achieved forever. And I think it puts a lot of pressure, in particular, on women to think that they have to be successful. And I think uh, life it's made of incredible joys and really terrible blows and tragedies and I think being successful in such a complex uh, lifespan it's maybe being truthful uh, with yourself and truthful to the others and truthful to the fact that good and bad happens and the, you translate them this truthfulness in small successes and beautiful steps and I think that's for me maybe a successful life. It's to acknowledge this complexity and the nuances of life and to welcome them with a lot of truth. What would you do differently if you could? I would not do anything differently. I think that if things are done, it's because they have to be done this way. I also think if you are guided by your life values, you will always be in balance and in harmony with your deep being. And then I would really say that I would not do absolutely anything differently. Dina, is there any advice you would like to share with us today? Yes. So one of the advice that I would give in particular to young professionals and to women is simple. Don't compare yourself. Stop, stop, stop comparing yourself with the others. Just do your own road, your own path. It doesn't mean not to care about the others, but it means to be in line with your own values and that goal. Dina, what is, in your opinion, the most important challenge still to come or to implement uh, for women development? There are many challenges. I would say maybe the first one is the lack of confidence um, that I see in many professional young women. Confidence in yourself and building confidence around you. Another challenge that I see very strongly is a societal issue, the need for societal change, which is the change in the men and women roles, freeing women from the domestic pressure, but freeing men from the work on pressure as well. That would bring us at much more, I think, equality. Dina, you work in the field of solidarity. How does the word solidarity resonate with you? 
Solidarity, if I use maybe an image for me, it's really like the sap in the tree or maybe the blood in our human body. It brings to me the idea really of fluidity and of something very moving, flexible and connecting. So it's fluid, but without it, the society cannot stand and, and stay alive. So I would say this is for me, this connectivity uh, and fluidity. What are the reasons that motivate you to get involved in the field of solidarity, in particular in migration? I feel that working on these topics, in fact, comes from a deep motivation and a deep feeling of shared destinies. And for me, that's also solidarity. It's the feeling of shared destiny. At a very big level, as humans, this is why I think I'm so invested in the environmental and climate uh, battles of our generation. Um, strong feeling of shared destiny with other women. Um, that's why I think I'm so invested also in education as an access for women uh, and an access for everyone to a better life. And also uh, shared destiny as a migrant because I was a child myself, a refugee. So I feel really um, how much it brings you together beyond um, our personal stories. Um, so it's this shared vision and destiny that it's about helping each other beyond all our differences, in fact, that I think I see guides my work. And how do you see the field of solidarity evolving in the next future? I think that solidarity should not be seen in any ways contradictory also to um, well-being, of people that go through also economic development, access to a better life. Um, it's not a feeling of obligation. I think also it's not a feeling that it's contrary to making profits. It's for me the opposite of this. It's a joint dynamic and movement for a better life. And I feel that solidarity should move away from the idea of obligation to an idea of shared well-being and maybe joint growth that's never contradictory also to uh, the business and the economic development in fact. What is the message that you would like to share with other women who are listening to you around solidarity? So I speak with a lot of young women and also young boys by the way being a mother of boys I'm very close also to, to what the, um, it's shared in the, in the young generation. What I would say, I, I see very often that we look at solidarity as big, big plans far away from us, changing the world uh, very far away. And so what I would say as a key message uh, is that it can start with you here and in the closest circle that you are in. If you already, as a professional woman, treat well your staff and your teams, create trust, don't micromanage them, and give them wings. It's, if you give these wings to your students, to your children, to your friends, to, to your close, 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 close uh, environment, for me that's solidarity, that's the way ahead. And that's what will make for me the difference. Then the circles will just expand little by little, like when you throw a stone in the, in the water. So that's my key message for, for today. Throw the little stone of solidarity in your very close circle and you will have a big impact. Dina, wonderful. Many, many thanks for uh, accepting to share with us today your thoughts. <laughs> and all the best for your actions. 
Thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity.